Hi, this is Adam Nunes for Ven Audio. See? Now there's a couple of other great tutorials for dialogue editing out there from people who do big films and TV. So this one's more of an indie perspective where you're going to end up having to do everything yourself in not very much time. So we're going to try and do this fast. For this tutorial, I'll be using Pro Tools, Audition and Isotope RX, but you can get by with just Pro Tools, really. As I said, I'm usually responsible for the entire sound design in the projects I work on, so there'll be a little bit of work with mixing and sound effects. Last thing before we start, a huge thank you to Arts Educational Schools, Henry Gibbs, Armand Mantella and Nicole Sawyer for the footage. Check out the links in the description for more on them. Let's get started. This is all the stuff I've got from the editor. Music, a library sound effect, a wild track from the recordist, an OMF and a QuickTime. The QuickTime is 720p, 25 frames a second and Apple ProRes. It's important that the video you're working with is not too compressed so your process is free to work on the sound with you. First thing I'm going to do is check the wild track. If it's an Atmos, I want to be able to loop it easily. I also want to give it a proper name. As you can see from the metadata, this was recorded on an Ediroll R44, which puts lots of markers at the beginning for some reason. So let's delete those and crank it up a bit so we can see what we're doing. All right, let's have a quick listen. Atmos track estate. Okay, we've got a four channel Atmos track with a boom, two radio mics and an empty track. We only really want the boom for this, and we don't need the tag at the beginning. There's also something in the middle, let's have a listen. Exterior. That's a new slate, exterior, so the first half should be different to the second. We can also see a jump in the levels. And, we cut. and the director calling cut at the end. Let's delete that. So I'm just going to select this bit, mute the channels I don't want, and save this section. Let's call it Exterior Estate Mono 4824. That matches the metadata. So great, it's OK. And we don't need that middle bit. I'm also going to select the interior section and save it with the same settings. OK, thank you, Audition. We're finished with you. Let's get into Pro Tools. Welcome to my template. This is the one I used for mixing the whole short film. So it's got uh, loads of color coded tracks with reverb and EQ ready to go. There's also a few hidden tracks of ADR, which of course we're never going to need, right? For now, we're also not going to need the Foley tracks. So I'm just going to get those out of our way. Here's the dialogue. In answer to your question, yes, it's pink. All the recordings we get from set are put through a dialog bus. That's the dialog tracks, the production effects, and bits of room tone. And this is your dialog aux. Uh, this just has a low cut and a very light compressor. Let's go back to the edit window. Now you can see all the dialog tracks have this little placeholder in them. This is just a blank region and it's just to keep the playlists open. First thing to do is import our OMF. Now I know you're shouting at the screen to hit Alt, Shift and I instead of clicking around in the menus, but don't panic, there's plenty of keyboard shortcuts to come. In the session data window, I always consolidate the OMF to get all the file names, and I always ask the editor for five second handles. Make sure that your time code matches your session as well. So let's take a look at what we've got here. Looks like up to four tracks of dialogue, some score at the bottom, and a few sound effects. First thing to do is name all the OMF tracks. Now we're going to use these as a backup, so duplicate them and hide them away in case we ever need to see what the editor did. These are just going to stay here in our track list and if we ever need them we can unhide them and check anything or copy any bits that we've lost. These are the tracks that we're going to be working from when we organize everything into our template. Before that, we need to import the video definitely import the audio as a reference. Don't need the frames. Rename that to video. Now if we play this, we can check that the OMF is in sync with the video track. You should better be there when I come down. Great. No phasing. Sounds good. Just make that inactive. We don't need to listen to that anymore. Next, we're going to import the wild tracks and sound effects. Make a copy so that we leave the original well alone. 
Now, because Pro Tools has no folders, I name everything with a prefix. So all my exteriors are together, all my interiors, FX, Foley, ADR, etc. So now we've got everything into the mix and we're ready to arrange it into our template. Now we're finally ready to organize our OMF clips onto the right tracks. Let's check the editor's volume automation. Sure, we're trusted with the levels of the dialogue, but we can see that someone had some thoughts on how the music comes in and out. So we need to get that information into a form we can work with. Now it's the last couple of tracks that seem to have most of the music, so let's bring those down to where I keep my score. Grab that and copy it down onto the track. It's copied over the volume automation as well, but I don't want to use that. I want to use the clip gain. Personal preference for sure. I like to keep the faders clear to raise and lower the levels of the entire tracks. I think there's a plugin to do this, but I don't have it. So let's find each keyframe and recreate it on the clip gain, inserting fades as well. I'm going to do that for every instance of music. If you have a plugin to speed up time, use it now. Okay, great. One more thing. I've copied two mono tracks to a stereo track, so I need to check the pan automation. Yep, we've got two tracks of centered music. So delete the keyframes and make the left left and the right right. Great. We've got all the music and its automation. Let's delete those tracks. So now I've used it for the music. I am done with the volume automation. Let's delete it all. I'm also going to grab the video at this point so you guys can see what we're dealing with here. Enjoy. This sounds like a good opportunity to introduce our talent here. This is Henry Gibbs and this is Armin Mantella. Links in the description. So. What I'm going to do is take all of Armand's dialogue and put it on an Armand track and take all of Henry's dialogue and put it on a Henry track. At this point, take a rough look at your levels. If they're consistently too quiet, you can use the clip gain line to raise them all up. There is another plugin I don't have to normalize each clip using clip gain. In this case, the levels are pretty good, so I'm just going to leave them. To speed us up, let's see if we can delete a couple more tracks. So let's check out what's on OMF 5 and 6. These are alternate takes I managed to get put into the OMF to help us to improve Henry's diction. If you have a good relationship with your editor, you should definitely check out the edit before the OMF export and see if they can help you out with some alternate takes for overlaps and stuff like this. So that's going on the Henry track. And this stuff is all going on the Armin track. Great, now we can delete those two empty tracks. So now we've got only four tracks to work with. We can power through and whack all the dialogue on the right tracks. We've got our sound effect as well, which I'm going to put on my FX spotting track. This is the track where you keep your temp tracks from the editor, or you consolidate an empty region to make a note of a sound effect, which you need in the future. For example, OK, we've got everything on our playlist, so we can take our dialog placeholder and delete it. And because we've deleted the source file, you can see that it's gone on all the playlists. Then we can zoom out to see the whole film. Now in a perfect world, the boom, channel 1, was in the right place at the right time and all the shots were close-ups and everything sounds wonderful. So let's be optimistic here, take all the boom playlists and promote them to the dialog track. I'm just going to delete the empty OMF tracks as well. And we don't need the fourth dialogue track or its playlists. Perfect, there's our mix. It's looking a lot simpler now and we're ready to start choosing takes and cleaning up our audio.